What's up, everyone? Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Saturday morning. Last night's prejudging was, you know, I went to sleep. I was so upset. You know, I was going to make a video last night, but I figured let me let MD and the others do it. But, um, you know, I made a video blasting Chris Aceto. And I mean, I honestly, I mean, how, how, how do you, you're a contest prep guru, okay? You got the Arnold Classic champion and last year's Olympia runner up in your roster. And both of the guys, you know, look nothing like they did last year or like they did in Columbus. You know, not only do you not get your guy the Sandow, but your guy might not even be in the top five, respectably. I mean, he might be because, you know, of comparisons or whatnot. But, I mean, honestly, you know, Sean Ronan was not in the running to win the competition, and he was definitely not in the top three. And Cedric, I don't even think, will be in the top six. I mean, what, what, what a, I mean... I mean, you know, stop working for Rx Muscle, bro. Stop being a commentator, a news journalist, a handicapper. Stop trying to be Lonnie Teeper and go do your goddamn job and get your guys the placings they deserve. I mean, Sean Roden looked amazing just last week. I mean, what the fuck happened to him these last, you know, last few days, you know? I mean, these last few hours. I don't like to curse on these videos. And I'm, I'm like absolutely livid at Chris Aceto. I mean, I blame him for the fact that Sean Roden is not your Mr. Olympia right now. And I blame him for the fact that Cedric's not even being in the top five. I mean, how does how do you have an Arnold Classic champion not being the Olympia top five? I mean, you know how screwed up that is? Anyways, uh, uh, Phil Heath looks pretty good. The gut's back, you know. It's not a bubble gut, but it, it it's not good. But it's not going to be enough to knock him off. I mean, that's just the reality. Big Romney looks really good. The legs, just like Jay Cutler said, I can see the legs are not separated to the quality that of the placing he will probably get, which is second. William Bonnack should really be second. Uh, he looks just just absolutely amazing. And I had him in my top six uh, since my mid-July uh, predictions. And I had him in my top six because so I thought he was going to really bring it. And he more than brought it. And so he's going to definitely be third or fourth, but he really should be second, uh, in my opinion. Dexter Jackson, 48 years old, is going to be fourth. Also looked brilliant, amazing Totally worth a top three, top four placing. Brandon Curry, who I had predicted would be fifth, will probably be fifth or fourth. Brandon just looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. Really Winkler, also major improvements. Uh, and I have to agree with Muscle Development, who I also work for for my show on Noble Weekly, really actually looks freakier than Big Rami. Um, so, you know, I, I have to be honest. I mean, this guy has really brought it. And... Um, so overall, you know, Josh Lonarkowicz looks pretty good. Um, a lot of guys look really good. But guys, I, you know, I went to sleep last night. I was disgusted. I was so angry. And, like, I didn't want to make a video. And as you can see, I cursed. I don't like cursing on these videos. But uh, I cursed. And I got a little animated there earlier. But, you know, I've been I've been really, you know, promoting the hell out of Sean Fletcher, Sean Roden. And, and, you know, really strongly believing in him. And, and I don't believe that he let the fans down. I, I believe that... Something that happened in the last few days, maybe the last few hours, maybe somebody wasn't paying attention like they should have been, or I don't know, but something happened, you know, because he should have easily have been able to contain Big Rami, honestly, because it's not all about size, guys, it's really not, it's about quality muscles, it's about aesthetics, it's about flow, and quite frankly, Sean Roden blows Big Rami out of the water when Sean Roden's 100%, but when Sean Roden's not 100%, Sean Roden would be lucky to be in the top five, because unfortunately, that's how it is, I mean, that's how competitive and cutting edge and high stakes the Mr. Olympia is.